Hey guys, in this video, we're going to show you how to trade the double top and double bottom pattern like a pro. There is also a massive patterns trading guide and cheat sheets that work in combination with this video. Make sure to hit the like button as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free content on YouTube faster. Starting with the double top pattern, you first have your moving uptrend. Price then makes two same highs. The tops essentially make a resistance level. From a price action standpoint, Price failed to make a higher high, but instead made a same high, which shows a loss of momentum from the uptrend and from the buyers in the market. Next, the double bottom pattern. You first have your moving downtrend. Price then makes two same lows. The bottoms essentially make a support level. From a price action standpoint, price failed to make a lower low, but instead made a same low, which shows a loss of momentum from the downtrend and from the sellers in the market. So here are the best ways to use the double top and double bottom pattern. Starting with the first, which is a neckline break entry. You have your double top pattern that forms. This reversal point between gives you your neckline. Once price breaks the neckline and makes a lower low, you have a fully formed trend change. You would then take a breakout entry short after the neckline break as the reversal and trend change is now confirmed from an uptrend to a downtrend. Going the other way. You have your double bottom pattern that forms. This reversal point between gives you your neckline. Once price breaks the neckline and makes a higher high, you have a fully formed trend change. You would then take a breakout entry long after the neckline break as the reversal and trend change is now confirmed from a downtrend to an uptrend. The second way to use double tops and bottoms is to wait for a pullback entry after the neckline break. You first have your double top pattern. Neckline break here. But instead of taking the breakout entry, you can take a pullback entry at the neckline and at the support turn to new resistance zone. Now this would be an imperfect short trade setup because if you watched our last video on support and resistance zones, this isn't a slim level, but a wide zone and price pulls back and enters the wide zone. You had an inside bar and a bearish momentum candle confirmation. Let's show this again. Double top pattern. Neckline break here. This pullback short trade to the neckline is imperfect because this isn't a slim level, but a wide zone. Once inside of the zone, you had a long wick candle followed by a bearish momentum candle confirmation. So going the other way. You first have your double bottom pattern. Neckline break here. Pullback entry at the neckline here or at the resistance turn to new support level. You had perfect multiple long wick candles right at the neckline, which presented a high quality long trade. Let's show this again. Double bottom pattern. Neckline break here. This pullback long trade to the neckline is imperfect because this isn't a slim level, but a wide zone. Once inside of the zone, you had multiple consolidation candles moving sideways, failing to make lower lows. And once you had the higher high candle form, the trend change is confirmed. This is the GE stock. Double bottom pattern. Neckline break here. This here was your imperfect pullback entry to the wide zone, which presented a long trade opportunity. This is the American Airlines stock. You have your double bottom pattern. Neckline break here. You then had a pullback to the neckline that also formed a long wick candle, a candle color change, and a bullish momentum candle. Now, even better, this here is also the right shoulder of the inverse head and shoulders pattern, which makes this an even higher quality long trade setup. You can also interpret this as a slanted neckline. All of this gives you an A plus long trade setup. So the third way to use double tops and bottoms is to combine them with key levels. So you first identify your key support level through these reversal points. As price comes back down, it creates a double bottom pattern right at the support level. Again, to confirm the reversal, neckline placed like this, and once price breaks through the neckline and makes a higher high, you would take a long entry. Now, this is also a good example of the many different opportunities there are to enter trades. Some would enter long right at this reversal point here. Some would enter long right at this second reversal point here. Others would place a trend line like this and enter on the break of it here, where pattern traders wouldn't enter until after the double bottom pattern formed and break of the neckline here. All are correct, just different entry points based on your style of trade. This is the American Airlines stock again. All these reversal points give you a very key support zone that is also a swing low. Price comes down and creates the double bottom pattern right at the very key level. Again, you can take your entry at the break of neckline or through the pullback here. So going in the opposite direction. You first identify your key resistance level through these reversal points. As price comes back up, it creates a double top pattern 
right at the resistance level. Neckline placed like this, and once price breaks through the neckline and makes a lower low, you would take a short entry. To point this out again, there were multiple entry points based on your style of trade. Entry 1. Entry 2. Entry 3. Entry 4. And Entry 5. One more. You have your key level here that acted as both support and resistance. As price comes back up, it creates a double top pattern right at the key level. Neckline placed like this, and once price breaks through the neckline and makes a lower low, you would take a short entry. So the fourth way to use the double top and bottom pattern is to get in through an aggressive early entry at the second reversal point of the double top or bottom pattern. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments below right now what video topics we should cover next. Many of you have sent us messages asking us to cover news and current events. So we'll be creating those types of videos on this channel going forward. Let us know right now what else we should cover. As always, please hit the like button as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. This is the Robin Hood stock. This reversal point here gives you your key support level. As price comes back down, you had a double bottom pattern right at the key support level, which presented a long trade opportunity. Now here's the issue. The neckline is all the way up here, also known as a deep neckline. So if you wait for the neckline break up here, you're getting in very late and have missed a lot of the move upwards. So instead of waiting, you can get in right here at the second reversal point of the double bottom pattern. This is known as an early aggressive entry. Also, you already had one touch point here and a second touch point here, which means getting in at the second reversal point here is still a high quality long trade setup. Now you still need price action, which you had through the candle color change, inside bar, and inverted long wick candle, all which shows a reaction to the level and buying presence. As always, look for an intraday trend change confirmation before taking a long entry through the very low intraday timeframes. This is the IBM stock. This double bottom here at a key support level presented a long trade setup. Now, if you waited for a neckline break, you wouldn't be able to get in until all the way up here. So we want to get in early, right down here at this second reversal point of the double bottom pattern. After you had the long wick candle, you want to look inside of it on a lower time frame for any form of price action that signals a trend change from a downtrend to an uptrend. So let's pull up the one hour time frame and put it beside this one. On the left is the IBM weekly time frame we just looked at, and on the right is the IBM one hour time frame. This area here, being the second head of the double bottom pattern, is this same area here. You had a double bottom reversal pattern a break of neckline, a break of trend line, and higher high, all which shows trend change price action, and is when you would go to the even lower intraday timeframes to find an exact entry point using our entry and exit strategy. So the fifth way to use the double top and double bottom pattern is to identify candlestick price action at a key level, and then identify a double top or bottom inside of those candlesticks on the lower intraday timeframe. On the left is the main timeframe you use to find your setup. And on the right is the same asset, but using a lower intraday time frame. You are in a clear moving downtrend with heavy bearish momentum, so you want to trade with it. This reversal point here gives you your key level. Price breaks through the level and pulls back to it and forms multiple long wick candles, which presents a short trade opportunity. Now, candlestick price action at a key level doesn't equal an automatic trade short because price can stall at the key level and still continue up and trigger a larger trend change. So what you need to do is look inside of this candlestick price action area, but on the lower intraday time frame on the right to see if you get any form of price action that signals a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend, which you had through the double top pattern that formed. Neckline placed below, and once price breaks the neckline and makes a lower low, your trend change is confirmed from an uptrend to a downtrend. You would then look for an exact short entry point. Now, let's move on to the triple top and triple bottom pattern. This is the CAD yen currency pair. Reversal point one, reversal point two, and reversal point three, which creates the triple top pattern. Neckline here, and once it breaks, the reversal is confirmed and is when you would look for short entries. Reversal point one, reversal point two, reversal point three, which creates the triple bottom pattern. Neckline here, and once it breaks, the reversal is confirmed and is when you would look for long entries. This is the Delta Airlines stock. These reversal points here give you your key level. As price comes back down, you had your triple bottom pattern. Neckline here, 
And once price breaks the neckline, either take the breakout entry, or if you're a more secure trader, you'd wait and see if there was a pullback entry, which you had right here. These reversal points here give you your key level. As price comes back up, you had your triple top pattern. Neckline here, and once it breaks, the reversal is confirmed, and is when you would look for short entries. On the left is the Snapchat stock weekly timeframe. These reversal points here give you your key support level, which is also a swing low. Now, as price comes back down, you had shrinking candles and a candle color change. This is also the third reversal point of the triple bottom pattern, making this an aggressive early entry. When you look inside of the third reversal point, but on the one hour time frame on the right, you had a trend change pattern through the higher low and higher high, and through the double bottom pattern at support, followed by a break of trend line or break of neckline and higher high. This is then when you would go to the even lower intraday timeframes to find an exact entry point using our entry and exit strategy and key tool. If you want to take your trading to the next level, head on over to our website at wisetrade.com as we have a ton of content on our site that won't ever be available on YouTube. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what topics you want us to cover next. Make sure to hit the like button on this video as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. So two key things, go follow us on our Threads account to stay notified about all things WiseTrade, as we'll be posting a lot over there. Also, make sure to follow us on our Instagram account at WiseTrade. Thanks for all your support and getting us to over 1 million subscribers. We have a lot of special things on the way, so we'll see you in the next episode.